To get started with AR mode, you will need to create an anchor. An anchor locks your reference image in place so you can move your phone or your canvas. And as long as the anchor is in view of the camera, your reference image will align itself back perfectly with what you are drawing. To get started, take a business card sized piece of paper or larger. Then take a black pen or marker and add lots of squiggles with many intersecting points and different shapes. The more tiny little details, the better the anchor will work. Also, the larger you make your anchor, the further away from your canvas you can have the phone and still have an accurate placement. It's a good idea to tape your anchor in place on your paper before you draw. This ensures that your reference image will always be in the right place. You should be prompted to make an anchor right away. However, if you want to make a new anchor, press Tools, then AR, then Anchors. To upload your anchor, press Add Anchor, then press the purple button at the bottom of the screen to bring up the camera. Make sure your camera is perfectly level with the anchor. You don't want to have it tilted like this, or like this, or else it could distort your overlay image when it's virtually projected on your paper. When you're finished, press Use Photo in the bottom right corner of the screen. Next, you need to crop your photo. Drag the corners of the cropping frame to just inside the edges of your anchor. Make sure there is no background visible. The last step is to measure your anchor. Make sure that it is at least three and a half inches wide. Take a ruler and measure your anchor's width. Then, type in the width and press Done. You should be brought back to the Anchor Manager screen. Here, you can press Done in the top left corner. Now your image should appear on top of the anchor whenever the anchor is in view of your camera. Do not try and hold the phone in your hand and draw. You can easily make a stand out of objects found around your house, like with tape and a tall spray can, a tall glass, or a vase. You can also purchase an inexpensive stand like this one. A link to stands that we recommend can be found in the app. Now it's time to position your image where you want it on the paper. Use two fingers to zoom out so you can see your paper as a whole. Then, press the Move button, and using one finger, you can pan your image. Using two fingers, you can enlarge, shrink, or rotate the image. When you have the image exactly where you want it, press the Move button again to lock the image in proportion. Now, you can zoom in to draw fine details, or you can zoom out to see your drawing as a whole. To make the image more or less transparent, you can press the Opacity button in the bottom right corner of the screen. You can use the slider to make your image more or less transparent, or you can use the Opacity toggle to turn the image on and off. Now let's check out some of the need-to-know features located in the Tools menu. Once you have the phone set up, you can turn off the phone's autofocus by going to Tools, then AR, then Fix Focus. This will also refocus the camera to your paper if the camera is blurry. To apply image filters, press Tools, then slide the menu all the way over to Filters, then press Filters. From here, you can do things like change your image to grayscale, add posterization, or add blur. Next to filters is the breakdown tool. This lets you break down your image into layers or steps by color value. For experienced artists, it's a great way to help you analyze the no tan or structure and composition of your artwork. For beginners, it turns any image into a draw by numbers tutorial. One of the most powerful tools in the app is the strobe feature. This tool slowly flashes the overlay image on and off. This makes it easier to see where you've drawn already and where you still need to draw, as well as helping you see what areas need to be lighter or darker. The last absolutely need to know feature is the record button. From here, you can record time-lapse movies of your drawings without the overlay, just like this one. Make sure that if you post your time-lapse videos on social media to tag us for a repost. We're at DaVinciI on all the social networks. We love to see what people are creating with the app. If you need help with anything, press the question mark button in the top right corner of the screen. From there, you can watch instructional videos on how to use the app, check out our FAQs page, or email us. We usually respond extremely fast and love to hear from artists and aspiring artists using the app. That wraps it up for the quick setup AR mode tutorial. 
For more in-depth videos, be sure to check out the instructional videos section of the app, or browse and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where we have tips and tricks, live streams, and guest artists teaching drawing and painting tutorials using the app.